Hey, Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Uh, I want to do a little training video today, uh, something that's been on my mind uh, as I restarted back, and then I thought about what do I want to accomplish and what am I trying to um, do, I guess, for lack of a better way of saying what I want to accomplish. Uh, the concept that I believe in and I've coined is called uh, VTS or volume tick study uh, and I'm a firm believer that volume can lead the way to which direction the market can temporarily turn or move from that point forward in that that direction that the market uh, so basically a market change um, the best way I think to de demonstrate it comes back to October 19th. Uh, this is the day I chose uh, to look at. So Thursday, October 19th, 2017. And if you look at the charts here, uh, let me get my mouse. You can see right here is where, excuse me, right here is where the day count starts from the next day, from the 18th to the 19th. Now, what are you looking for? I, I'm looking for volume bars to help lead the way. Uh, I'm sleeping during this time, so I'm not really paying attention. Although, I'll go back and look and see what I see. So, I don't know if you saw that come across. But this doesn't normally happen, but it does occasionally happen. There at 301, uh, this corresponds with the European Open, by the way. Um, and also can be the Asian close, um, can be or considered around that area too. 3 a.m. would be roughly 3 p.m., 12 hour difference or so. And Asian markets are the uh, European markets just opening up. Uh, so 3.02 a.m. Now, I don't know what event happened or what report or, or what caused this, but it doesn't really matter. What you want to keep in mind is what's the volume figure. The volume figure associated with this bar is 3661. And what I like to do is, is put a line here and also where it stops going. Usually I like to see where it stops the head down and then that ends up being the so it's like two lines if you think of it this way on a on a down and then two lines on an up because usually when you see this signal it's not done going down at this point now this could on the other side signal the up being finished but if we look here this is going to come into play so you can see I put the horizontal lines in here corresponding with this particular high volume spike red bar uh, what I believe is buying come in the market or some short covering as well so you can see it continues to move down and we get another volume bar so not only did we get this 3661 volume bar think of about buying in the market we see this one right here coming in at uh, 318 at 32.52 and that one seems to, to bottom out the market right there so that's what I'd like to do is, is pull the market down to the low so if you look at this range that we got right here it's 51.88 to 51.38 it's a 50 point range so basically a $500 range or $10 a tick and you can see now this pivot point wasn't there hold on a second let me go back a day in time okay so what I did here is I moved the pivot point back a day in time so that we could look at what the market looked at yesterday and the pivot point from the 19th trading day was located at 5224 s1 at 5193 and s2 at 51.60 and you can see hopefully you can see both of those over here Here's 51.93 right here. Let me get my screen draw tool out. So over here is 51.93. Uh, 
and this is 5160. So there's your S1 and S2. So this is bottoming out is what I'm getting at. So this move down here corresponding with these volume figures is basically showing a rounded bottom if you think of it that way. All right, so let's move on. So this is a trailing bar coming down through. Now, the market opens up at um, the 8 a.m. Central Time or 9 a.m. Um, 9 a.m. Um, uh, New York time. Ugh. So you can see that we moved underneath here, and this is the market opening. Now we have another red bar volume coming in. So if you think about this particular trading day right now, we have two red vol vol red volume bars or RBVs over 3,000 and then we have this one here at 22.95 now the significance of this bar is that we are in the open outcry of what used to be the uh, open outcry of the crude oil market and it's still recognized as the US open right here at 8 a.m. or 9 o'clock on the uh, at New York time 8 o'clock central Chicago time <clears throat> so when I look at volume it's how long ago was the volume in the market compared to what volume that we see. So, yeah, I know we had volume back there. So we had roughly 6,500 contracts in volume were traded back there. So there's some significance. And this was the lower of the two lines, 5138. This price was driven down to the S2 and I'm almost positive that this was the low of the trading session that I, I, I was watching at this point in time. All right, so if you think of it this way, this ends up of the trading session, this is the highest volume bar in the trading session. So HVB and it's red. that one right there so that's your highest volume bar in the trading session so what's the significance right here so it's going to take a lot of pressure to drive underneath this once it decides to bottom out is there a point in time in the market that I would now this is a market that has been going down in the session so do I want to just jump on here? No. What am I looking for or looking to accomplish? Normally what I like to see, this is the 200 bar SMA cutting across prices right here, this blue line. And then you see this bottom here, and then you see this come through here, come back down, and then go back up. In my honest opinion, right here is the good place to, to attempt the buy. Now you could attempt something down here, if you believe that this is the bottom but the better place or the place that I like to add or bring into the buy side because you never know if this is going to be the bottom it could have just as easily head on back down and then form the bottom a little underneath that so I like the market when I'm going to go long I want the market to prove to me that it's done going down I don't feel this way on on the short side when I'm going short, but on the long side, I've been burned so many times in my past that I want the market to prove to me that it's done going down or at least have the statistical edge on my side. Where is that statistical edge? Right here. So if you think about this, this could in the Ralph Elliott wave, this could be your zero. I also call it the one point. So we'll use my one, two, three that I talk about. So there's your one. This is almost a crossover here, but it doesn't really count. You could look at it and you could have gotten in a little bit earlier, but this one's a better one. Two up here. And then here's your three. 
and this is your highway this is the highway that I'm using right so our highway is is showing us what's going on so we got here up here down and then I'm looking to be long above that area above the two point so and then it's a, a pretty decent long all the way up through this area up here now before we got there did you see that blue bar that cut across prices so what I'm getting at is that there could be a significant event that happens on the other side that stops all of the other side of the movement so here is 37.52 now by the way this ends up being what you would call let me move this over highest volume bar and just like on the red side so BHBB so blue high volume bar this significance is this could be the end of the up but you don't know this for a fact because this corresponds with this area right here and the market continues to move up a little bit now this line here is coming into play remember that 5188 what do you remember what we talked about previously to that that 5188 was way back there when the first uh, big high volume red volume bar came in the market so it's coming back into play what is the significance well if you think about support comes becomes resistance and resistance then becomes support then it starts to make a little bit more sense right so this ends up, I believe this ends up being the high of the session right in here, the 5190. And if I let this go, here's that S1 again, right? Remember the S1 at 5192? This is how close that we got going up and where it stopped. So this was where the red high volume bar came in. Go back to the very beginning of the video. And you'll see this is the significance of the first red volume bar. So the first time that, that there was some significance. Now we come up through here and we're fighting again. And this is corresponding with this blue bar being on the, the, the long side basically is over. Is there a good place to come and go the other direction? In other words, is there a good place to be on the short side? Um, on on a, this particular trade, it would have been right in here this area would have been a good area to to looking at uh, getting involved or in through here would have been a good area to get involved considering that we know that we failed at s1 so it it failed basically look it what do i mean by failure 5188 and then it just barely went above that by two ticks now if it went up five seven eight ticks then this is not a top this ends up being a top if you think about it it's it's um well there's that that top before and a double and this is a double top this is a triple top right here and a triple top failure so within the trading session and this the significance is that blue bar high volume bar shows that that's the end of the long side of the market until another event would come onto the charts. And as you can see um, through the rest of the trading session of the morning, that that was the high of the session was that 51.92 through roughly when the market would close up here at the 130 marker. So right in here would be the open outcry closing up right in this area at the 130 mark so did it get higher than that 5190 at any point after it that you see it uh that blue bar volume print so it does yeah it, it has a false move up and then it stops and then it comes back the other direction so what i'm getting at is volume let's put a smiley face in here right <laughs> Is that volume could show you which way is uh, which way the market is going to be going, or which way the market could be turning. So, long story short, volume can be 
It's, it's not the end all of everything, but it's kind of like a signpost that, that's in front of you and the, the light or think about a, a traffic light. That's the best way that I think I'll, I'll describe it today. Think about that traffic light. Let's go back to that high volume blue bar. Think about that traffic light that's in front of you and it just turns yellow. So in other words, danger, danger, Will Robinson, the market has the ability to turn in the near future. Doesn't mean it will right there. You still got to find a valid point to get involved on, on the side of the trade that you're looking for. But volume itself can show a significant, uh, give you a significant head start, I guess, to let you understand which way the market could be turning and it you know so tighten up your stops if you're in a, in a, a short or excuse me if you are in this long right now you'd be tightening up your stops expecting the market to run you out yeah uh, and if you were in the short later on then when you saw you know a high red bar volume you'd be tightening up your stops on the short side thinking okay this market could be done going down in that case so the significance, what I'm getting at, the significance of this blue bar volume right here is that the long move could be over. It's time to tighten your stops up and prepare for the short side of the market. All right. I hope that helps you as it relates to trading, as it relates to the concept that I've coined VTS, volume tick study. And obviously there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to trading. It's just what I have called this because this is a tick chart and this is the volume bar corresponding with what I call VTS or volume tick study. I hope this helps you as it relates to your trading and uh, use it to your benefit hopefully in the future. This is Dave Knight from 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I'll see you on our next video that we put together. Bye for now.